Yeah, well, right now they're searching for three suspects. Chief White believes at least one of them could be a minor, possibly more. Now, we're told that they circled around the high school multiple times before taking shots. So Chief White said that ring door video, like what we see on this house, could be key in this investigation. It was around 340 yesterday afternoon, minutes after Henry Ford High School students were dismissed for the day and heading home. The sound of gunfire stopped everyone in their tracks. We heard gunshots. We dropped low, went to the window, heard the tires um, and a white van taking off. Two students were shot, both hit multiple times and rushed to the hospital. Tiffany Butler lives directly across the street, witnessing the targeted attack. Some students are running around. Um, I let one young man in so he could call his parents. He was shaking up really bad because it happened right in front of him. Detroit police now looking for the shooters, believed to be three males who were wearing masks and seen circling the blocks a few times before taking aim. A possible motive? Retaliation. We have our gang intel on the ground as well, and uh, we're pulling that information together. Detroit police say they have an idea who the suspects may be as they continue their investigation, and we're expecting later today for a vehicle and possible suspect description. We're going to relentlessly work this case, uh, working with them, and we're going to be uh, hopefully making an arrest pretty soon. No one else is at risk. Uh, no one at the school is at risk, uh, and we know who we're looking for. Now, one of the victims, we're told, was just about to get into their grandmother's car. She was picking him up from school, so I'm sure very traumatizing for the family, but also for the students who had to hear and witness this event. But I think we can all say that we're thankful that no one else was injured, no stray bullets hit anyone else. Live in Detroit, I'm Kier Hey, 7 Action News. Yeah, you can just imagine how traumatic it is for those other students as well as the families. Thank you so much, Kier, for that report.